look at a mailbag I've got a few things here to look at so stick around and have a look I'll explain the shit so to start off with the shirt that's in commemoration of the prodigy Keith Flint who found out today has died uh, very unfortunate um, very sad and um, I been leading me down a bit too because I've been a fan of Podgy for nearly 30 years and um, I actually saw them in concert a month ago to the day today so they did a concert on the 5th of February and it's now the 5th of March and um, it was the last concert that Keith Flint has actually appeared in um, yeah so it's actually his very last concert it was the one which I went to and saw a month ago so it's a bit sad I'm wearing one of their shirts right now I've got a couple more I'm going to put on throughout the video as well, and um, just as a memento thing, so yeah, apparently he committed suicide as it says, but, um, yeah, anyway, I won't go on about it too much, I'm a bit down because of that today. Right, moving on. First thing, if you're still watching. <laughs> it's got a nice big box here, I know what's in there, oh, well, it should be in there. So this is a Seagate Ironwolf hard drive, 8 terabyte, 8 terabyte drive. This is for my NAS system. When I purchased the NAS, I put um, a couple of 4 gigabyte drives in there, sorry, 4, four terabyte drives in there. And um, I'm finding my space is getting limited and my main computer, the space is also getting very limited on the backup drive, so I think I'm down to about 100 gigabytes or something left on there, which isn't actually many videos. I'm going to upgrade the, the drive in my NAS and put my drive from that into my machine as one of the backup drives because it's a Sega Ironwolf, is a, it's meant for NAS, it's a decent drive. It's a budget. So here's the new Seagate drive which we're going to be using. I was open it up actually because I'm going to be using it anyway. So here we go. Seagate Einwolf, 8 terabyte. Hope you're in focus there. And it's amazing how the electronics is getting smaller and smaller, you know. Anyway, SATA, typical stuff, nothing particularly exciting about that. So, yeah, this is going to go in my NAS. Always need more space. The trouble with doing videos is that you need a lot of space to store all the archive footage. I don't actually store the raw footage, I only store the finished videos. Because if I stored all the raw footage, I would have run out a year ago and you know it takes a lot of space and um, yeah I, just, I don't see the point in keeping the raw footage so I only record the actual store the actual videos I've made in case YouTube decide to delete them or something you never know okay next thing different shirt another one from a concert microphone now this is a wired microphone I purchased this as an alternative to what I'm using right now, which is an amplified microphone. Which some people are saying I'm, I'm getting some buzzing and stuff coming through sometimes and hum. So I purchased this mic as an alternative one to use. We'll see if it's any good. We'll see. It seems a little bit, it feels a bit chintzy. I won't do it right now. I'll do some testing before. I'll have to see how that goes. Whether it's any better than this one or not. We'll see. Again, a lot of complaints about this one. It's a bit annoying because it's got a massive long wire and I need it to get to the camera. Anyway. Here's the lapel mic. Um, hopefully it's not noisier. I know it's got audio, I heard that just now, I'll have to check. But uh, does it buzz, does it hum? No idea. Next thing. So not my usual sort of uplifted self, funny self. So this thing with Keith Flint, that's a, maybe it's Saturday. So these are some 0603 2.5 amp fuses. Um, yeah, not that exciting. So these are these 2.5 amp fuses, 0603 package, also have MacBook parts. Um, not that interesting, I mean they're just fuses. I don't know how many is there, 50 probably? Something like that. Yeah. 
Right, let's see what this is. It's an interesting looking box. I've got to go across here. Ah, excellent. You may notice it looks a bit familiar. It's got my logo on it. So this is one of the bits of merch I've got in my merch store on Teespring. So it's a I Fix Stuff mug. So uh, obviously I need to have one. So I bought one. So if you're interested in getting my merch, make sure you check the links down below for my Teespring merch store. I think it just says merch or something, my merch or something. It says in the, in the description down there. So if you're interested, I've got different colours and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to have a look. Merch. I fix stuff. YouTube channel name underneath it. All good. I think I even spelled it right. That's always a good start. So yeah, got my iron logo on there. Come in different colours. I've allowed it a whole range of colours on my merch store. So if you're interested in getting a cup like this or anything else with this particular logo design on it, I've got this on my merch store. So another item, another shirt. This is from the. Uh, the other concert I went to previously, 10 years ago. Anyway, I've gained a bit of weight since then, you know, aging and stuff. So this is obviously RS components. This has a little bit of a story behind it. Now in my previous mailbags, I got a bunch of these 100 microfarad, 25 volt caps. Bag of 25, I only had 20 in it. So I had an issue where I emailed them, they get response straight away. Then um, I emailed them again. I think it was after like five days, I emailed them again and said, look, you know, this is uh, the only reply. <laughs> and then I got a reply from, I think, one of the managers or something, sales managers or something like that, and apologised and said, yep, I'll, I'll send you another bag out for free. So I got a bag of 25 to make up for the bag. The previous bag was short. So excellent service you know bit of a delay but you know i guess they're busy or something but end result is good you know i've i've gained 20 caps basically so i can't complain of that can you so good on rs for backing up their service brilliant good customer service you know you get mistakes happen you know things happen um but customer service is what proves or you know makes or breaks the company and they backed up great stuff good on your rs last item last shirt that last shirt was from um, Invaders Must Die Tour. That's what I was trying to think of. Let's see what's in this box. It got it pretty quickly, so I was happy about that. It's only been about a week, I think, so it's been pretty quick, actually. Very quick indeed. It was only about a week. And it's very similar to something I've seen before. My table's wobbling everywhere. We've got to put some cross bracing on this thing. Come on. Stick around. Can't beat it for a knife. Nice padding. Not wrapped, but stuffed around it. It's packed well enough. That's all right. They say to be make sure it's packed thoroughly, and it seems to have been done quite well. Except to be well. It's got a little stick on the top, 10 years to make sure we check the line voltage, which is great. Let's get it out. It's just balance that down there on the floor. Yeah, it's on the floor now. It's, it's got there eventually. So, it's a HP slash Agilent. Yep, Agilent piece of gear. Here's the back. Here's the other side. Here's the front. It's another power supply. Now, I did fix one of these, fix one of these previously. Had a bad sense regulator. Yeah, the regulator which senses the 5 volt line coming out. I can't remember what it's called now, but um, I had a bad regulator. I managed to repair that one. Found, found a substitute which worked. And this apparently works, but we'll see. Um, it's got a little bit of minor damage on the front here. One of the little black rings around the knob has gone. 
but that's not really an issue. I could probably 3D print another one actually. Just see how it feels. Yeah, seems alright. I don't know if that's supposed to click or not. I've got it down here actually. No, it's fine. I've got the other one right down here. Which I repair previously. So that means I've now got two of these power supplies. So whatever's wrong with this, I can actually use the other one to help me trace what's wrong. So this is a little project, so we'll see if it's it's okay or not. What's the sound the back? 110 volt. That was I think the other one did too actually. It's got ferrites in there. So 110 volt setting, that's fine after I open it up and do that. Although the warranty is then void. It's got a warranty sticker on there. So in order to change the voltage, I have to open it to break the warranty seal. Can't win. So I'm off to email and say, look, I have to break the warranty seal in order to check the voltage. They would have known that anyway. It's their cop out, isn't it? But we've got the sheet on the top saying how to set it. So actually, that's what that set is. That's at the manual telling you how to set line voltage. So that's a nice of them to actually include that. I suppose just to make sure people actually do it. So anyway, we'll be looking at that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon, that sort of stuff. Teddy friends, buy some Podigy merch, albums, that kind of thing. A bit sad about Keith, anyway. Not good news today. Very sad. Thanks to my Patreon supporters and uh, people that donated to me through PayPal as well. I had a really good, nice donation recently, quite a generous one. And uh, that was quite nice to receive, so I'm very grateful for that kind of support. Brilliant to get. So thank you very much for those people which actually do take the effort and support me, which help me to buy items such as this uh, and other items, other items of mailbag in order to make content for you. Um, those people are you know, really appreciated by me and everyone that watches this video should also appreciate the people which donate to my channel because they help to make the channel what it is. They, they help. I mean, it's it costs a lot to do this sort of stuff, but um, every bit that I can get for donations helps me to buy things like this. So, I've got this got quite a good price, so we'll see what it comes out like. Could be interesting. So, thanks for watching.